Our organization had uh, a number of problems we were trying to solve in logistics, uh, equipment, patients, families, uh, how to move things around the organization, monitor uh, freezers and refrigerators in multiple locations, et cetera. And about 2011, I believe, we uh, started to look into real-time location sensing, and, and that was really uh, to solve many logistical problems. The key pain points we were trying to solve included uh, equipment distribution around the uh, organization, major monitoring of uh, vital supplies like vaccines and other perishables in uh, temperature sensitive areas. Uh, and then eventually we knew we wanted to move toward patient uh, throughput, patient location sensing, and uh, the ability to help improve the patient experience. Uh, there are a number of opportunities related to the RTLS implementation. I think the, uh, the biggest one was to try to um, optimize flow through our system. You know, healthcare is extremely complex. Uh, lots of different areas need to be coordinated, and real-time location sensing allows us to do that in a much more efficient way and with less personnel in, in many cases, right? It allows us to be able to get visibility into where we need to send uh, environmental services or transportation uh, and in a much more efficient way and that sometimes helps us with our labor management as well. We use RTLS in a number of ways. Uh, we do a lot of equipment management in that we tag almost every piece of equipment we have and can follow it throughout our system. Second, we uh, have a number of areas that we monitor constantly especially those temperature sensitive areas, uh, as I mentioned, vaccines and other uh, medications that require uh, staying in a specific range of temperature or uh, they are harmed or degrade. And we're able to monitor that remotely even 365, seven days a week, uh, 24 hours a day, kinds of monitoring in remote locations. We have clinics in very rural areas where over Christmas holidays, for example, someone may not be there for 10 days, uh, but we're able to stay remotely linked into all of those through our RTLS. And processes have changed dramatically implementing the RTLS system. Uh, for example, uh, we often have a shortage of uh, IV poles or wheelchairs. Uh, we can easily at our daily safety check-in say, please make sure you go through your uh, unit and move all of those poles into the soil utility room. Once they're seen in the soil utility room, we know exactly how many we need, and we can go get them from those specific areas. And we can see all of that from equipment distribution downstairs, and it's easy to then deploy people to the right place. More recently, we moved a lot more from equipment into personnel flow and using RTLS in that space. One of the ways I think it's been um, best for our patients is in wait times in clinics. We've been able to actually follow patients to get a spot badge when they come to the clinic, and we can follow them how long they've been in the waiting room, how long they've been in the laboratory for phlebotomy, how long they've been in the room by themselves before a provider gets in there. All of that is monitored, and it, it helps you be able to say, oh, this person's been waiting a long time, even if there's a re good reason for that, you can at least go in and let them know, oh, they've been waiting for 15 minutes. We really should let them give them an update and let them know about what's happening. So that's one of the major ways. The flip side is how has it helped our providers? Uh, I'm an infectious disease doc. So I'm a consultant everywhere in the hospital. It is very common for me to go uh, see a patient and they're not in the room. They're down in radiology or they're having a procedure done. Sometimes I can go back three, four, and five times and still haven't been able to see that patient. Well, about a year ago now, we implemented uh, real-time location sensing in all patients everywhere in our hospital. So I now can just look at the screen on the computer. It's integrated right into my home screen. And I see, oh, they're in, in bed Ardmore 63 on, on the 10th floor, but they're not in there now. They're down in radiology or they're over in phlebotomy or somewhere else getting a procedure done. And I can immediately know that and know, okay, instead of going to see that patient, I'll go see a different patient. We've also been able to 
monitor people in areas where they tend to sit for a long time and transportation may not get there as quickly. So for example, radiology holding rooms after a procedure to get transported back up to the floor. And we now can time that and know oh, that patient's been waiting for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes in that radiology holding area, make sure we dispatch the next transportation person there. The families have benefited tremendously as well. The most uh, striking example of that is, is in our app uh, on the phone that allows us to use wayfinding throughout a very complex system um, for our patients and their families. As you can imagine, many of our patients come from long distance and this facility is like a small city to them. Very difficult to find their way around. But most people are now familiar with apps and uh, being able to use maps to get around. We essentially have a map on iPhone and Android uh, operating systems that people can get throughout our facility using our RTLS system because cell signal doesn't always get through. Cell signal doesn't know if you're on the fifth floor or the tenth floor and uh, the RTLS system does. The staff benefits quite a lot for uh, RTLS as well. One major way is that we wear spot badges um, and on the spot badge there's a red button and you just push that red button on the back of your spot badge and it immediately goes to security and security is dispatched to your location because they know exactly where you are. It's been wonderful for our staff who feel threatened by a patient or a family who's uh, escalating say in the emergency room or even a clinic. Uh, the response time is very quick. Security calls that area and dispatches a person at the same time. So we've had tremendous improvement in our response time and our staff feel much safer uh, using spot badges. All departments benefit from the RTLS system. It's not a, a one-off. It's the complexity of, of a medical center that means everyone needs to be coordinated. So when all of these things are coordinated by knowing where they are at all times, either patients or equipment or critical resources, it helps everyone in the organization. The RTLS system has changed the way the hospital operates in a large number of ways. It has effects in security, in transport and uh, environmental services. It has effects in nursing. It has effects in patient safety and has wide impact throughout our system to make us more efficient. Infinite Leap has been a very good partner for us and we've seen tremendous benefit both economically and culturally to our uh, system.